shark bait tells the story of a group of friends enjoying a weekend when they steal a couple of jet skis and decide to race them to sea. This of course ends up in a horrific head-on collision because alcohol and crazy people as they struggle to find their way home with a badly injured friend while a great white shark lurks below. Hey guys what's up it's me Anthony here to give you guys another episode in the shark week movie review week. I guess that's what we're calling it. And let's talk about shark bait which I think might be the best shark movie of 2022 and uh I mean that's not saying much because just just look what we got first off we have a simple premise you know no sugar coating it we got dumb kids you know on spring break doing dumb things and then there's a shark trying to eat people and when you have a simple story like that and it's just simple point a to point b it leaves room for you to add a little bit surprises in the movie and i think that this movie does just that i mean all i watched was the trailer and after that, I was like, okay, I, I kind of know what to expect with this movie. It's just going to be another generic shark movie. What we get is a generic shark movie, but with a twist. But unlike other films that we already talked about, like Sharkula and The Wreck, when these sharks, or this shark, because there's only one, one big daddy, he actually does shark things. He actually has a presence. He feels like a scary threat in this film. He feels like the enemy, the obstacle that these characters have to overcome. And that's very refreshing and it shouldn't be surprising in a shark film because I feel like you should, that should be a given. It's a shark film. The shark's supposed to be a bigger than life character. The one to beat the bad guy, the one that ends everything. But you'd be surprised after all these shark movies I've watched and they don't really do that in the shark films don't understand but like i said it's really refreshing to have a shark that has that kind of presence and you're kind of dreading every time it has an encounter with these characters but uh let me be fair when i talk about these characters and me actually caring about them don't really towards the end of the movie i start caring about one particular character but that's kind of a given because you know there's always one final person confronting the shark in these kind of films and naturally you want to root for that character because you want that character to slay the the beast i was going to say the dinosaur which would be accurate too because you know sharks are dinosaurs or relatives of them and this movie is also unexpectedly like uh, gory i would say because some of the kills i wouldn't think i would be talking about that in a shark movie but also at the same time i kind of think i need to talk about that because one of the big things in jaws is like the goriness of the kills back in the day when it was you know coming out in the 70s i don't think a lot of people saw movies where they showed a animal like destroying people in that kind of way and in this film is no different i mean i'm impressed with the kind of stuff that they do and there's no practical effects in here yes there is cgi and it's not that good but compared to the other films that i've watched this year uh, this is probably the top tier of in terms of like CGI sharks and uh, practical effects. I didn't think I would be saying that in this film, but there's a lot of it in this film. And the biggest reason why this might be the best shark film of 2022 is because they found a cheesy but lovable way to say the title of this film in the dialogue. It's I just love, I love it when they do that stuff. Overall guys, shark bait isn't going to set the world on fire. It isn't going to be the next big best shark film. It's no Jaws, of course. It's no The Shallows, which is a great shark film, by the way. But uh, I, I feel like, you know, I might pick this up. I might add it to the collection, but just because of that like last half of the film, it's just, just piqued my interest. I liked it. The characters are stupid. Nobody's gonna remember those characters, but I just think it's a really fun shark film And maybe it is just because of all the really bad shark films that I've seen this year. They're not all bad At least I think but I had a good time watching shark bait Love that title, but guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Also guys don't forget to check out my Twitter so you can stay updated with my channel and remember guys Keep watching movies